everybody, so it is time for kind of an update on my digital, digital sketchbook, uh, which is my iPad Pro, and let's just start going through some, some of my artwork. Now this isn't, some of this is a little bit old, and it's not current, so if you follow me on Instagram and stuff, you'll see like my new Harley Quinn illustration and stuff like that. Uh, I'm still trying to catch up with some of this old stuff and I feel like it's important to show you guys this because some of my newer stuff is quite a bit better. Um, I'll show you, this is a smaller print of the Harley Quinn piece I just did and this stuff I'm about to show you on the iPad is about five months, five months old compared to this one which is, so I, what I'm saying is I've gained a lot of ground. And when I first started doing digital illustration, I know a lot of people were like, go back to pencils, you're not very good at digital art. But I knew I would get better and I feel like now I'm starting to produce some stuff that's pretty cool. But I still want to show you some of those older pieces. So let's just kind of go through some of these. And these are all filmed um, in Procreate. Let's start out with Wolverine. So. We're just gonna play the video. I got my girls here. They're gonna kinda go through the video, some of these artwork with us. So right here, uh, like I've said before, I'm just laying out the illustration. Uh, you can see how fast it kinda happens. Um, and what I'm learning when I do this one specifically is lighting. That's one of the focuses that I had had. And I feel like now, like this was a nice stepping stone drawing for that, because this was very extreme lighting. Uh, the front side of him, the part that's facing us, is in shadow, and behind him, you can kind of see that that fire that's lighting the edges of him. Uh, and I, this was one of the first ones I revisited. So this first illustration uh, is kind of more in that s digital sketch approach. These only took me an hour or so uh, to do, and later on. I spend a lot more time on this particular one, and I'll show you that one here in a minute. Uh, but that one's, I don't even know how many hours I had into that one. So, uh, but this initial drawing of this, you can kind of see it come to life. And at this stage, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out how to, how to create digital artwork um, like professionals do. Uh, and at this stage uh, of the process, I was really, uh, it was pretty rough. And like I, one thing I kept hearing over and over again is like I would get to the very end, like right here. And when I first started doing these, I was like, well, that, that looks pretty good. You know, I got the lighting thing. And I had spent so many years working on sketches and just only spending an hour or so on a drawing that I hadn't realized I hadn't produced really finished work uh, in a really long time. And finished work, like, this is what I would consider finished work. And I just, it was funny to me that I, it hadn't dawned on me that the work I was producing was very sketch, like very quick idea, concepty type stuff. And, but I needed this stuff to learn, uh, to go a little bit faster and be a little bit loose with the painting and stuff like that. So I do feel like, these shorter digital sketches and stuff really helped uh, to get me where I am now with them. So let's close out of that one and go to this Venom. Creepy. So let's watch it. What, yeah, what do you think of that one, Emery? Okay. Is it scary though? So that doesn't look anything like the drawing you just saw because this is what happened a lot. That's Deadpool sticking his finger in uh, Punisher's gun because it was going to be a Deadpool Punisher and then I was like ah, I didn't like where that was going and so it turned into this. <clears throat> what do you think? Good. You like it? Scary. Is he friendly? Mm -hmm. Uh, He's like Harley Quinn. He's like a bad guy, good guy. Uh, yeah, he, you're really smart, Buck. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know where you pick this stuff up. Um, this is a good drawing because it's real close up. You can really see like uh, how I'm blending the colors and stuff like that. Um, but I, I feel like I got a good gesture on it. Uh, again, really working on the form of the character. Uh, what do you think he is? Is he inviting you over for tea? Look, he's got his finger out. He's like, hey, come on over. I got, he's got some cookies in his hand over here. 
No, he won't. He doesn't? He's like, I'm the one who something, whatever. Oh. Really? You don't so, right here, actually, let me pause this. Kind of go back a little bit. When I'm drawing this, um, your eyes adjust to whatever the darkest dark is. So, as I'm drawing this, I don't realize how light it is, but watch. Boom. I'm like, oh man, I was only working in mid-tones, and I hadn't gotten into any real darks. Uh, and that was another thing that I kind of, uh, my wife kept getting on me about. She's like, it's not dark enough. You're not going dark enough with your digital illustrations. And so that was one thing on this one I really started trying to do is get dark. So, and really make a full value scale. Uh, one of the cool things about this drawing is the veins. Like I wanted it to, that light to really make those veins pop. And you can kind of really see them start to really stick out on his neck. And I changed. Dad, I'm asking, I was going to ask you, what are those? Uh, those are like part of him. They're like gooey, like tentacles oh, yeah, yeah. that kind of come out from him and stuff. So, and that's as far as I took this one. Uh, I think I might revisit this one because as you can tell, this is still just a digital sketch. Still pretty dang rough. Um, but he's creepy. Yeah, he is kind of scary, huh? You think he's scary? No. No, he's friendly. So anyway, he is not friendly. This is a, a drawing Elena did. You did a good job on this bug. I was really impressed. I did do I I did one too. You yeah, you did some too, huh? Can do so this is Elena's redraw of my little mermaid drawing. And, uh, you like drawing on the iPad? Yeah, me too. Good job. You did good on that one. We'll go to this one. This was a pretty quick one. What do you think of these ones? Good. What was I drawing here? I think I started out drawing a, oh yeah, a face. A human face. And then I was like, blah, I don't want to draw this. It's boring. <laughs> it's a picture of you. Well, I was working on, you know, skin kind tones. Of. So then I'm like, let's draw some robot dogs. Do you like robot dogs, Henry? Yeah. I yeah. love robots. They're humongous and cool and robotic. And drawing like this, it's well, very um, flat, two-dimensional type stuff. Um, drawing in the shoulder pads and everything. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to explain. But when I draw these little robot characters, they're super easy, super simple to draw. And sometimes I just draw them because I'm having fun. Um, just having fun drawing. So, And they're very easy to do. But... This guy, again, like, I just look at these now, looking back at when I was doing these, and how much further I could have taken this, this little illustration, how much better I can make it. I feel like the rendering process and just getting everything to look finished is something that I've moved forward with and really gained ground on. Wow, that just popped right there, like, poof. Boom, like, magically. Yeah. yeah I must have done it super fast, huh? Like or the video fast. skipped or something. Like, doo. yeah. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going through quite a few of these. Um, that one, that one, that oh, one. Oh, I got this one over here. This orc warrior guy. Again, these are. He's I look at these now and I'm like, ah, these are such like simple digital sketches. And it's kind of fun that it shows some of the pre-drawing stuff, so you can see me kind of messing around. But uh, here's a when orc it does warrior. a video, it, it totally is like you're like <laughs> drawing it super fast, but it, it always ends up really yeah, amazing. I, I don't really draw it this fast. That would be pretty amazing. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I don't like I this can't. orc's face. He's too good looking. He needs to be uglier. Yeah. He's. You like him? Yes. He's too. I don't know. He needs to be scarier looking. He looked too. I don't know. Like a human face, not an orc face. That's not a very good drawing. I can honestly say when I did this, I was like, oh, I'm, digital art's doing? really fun. I'm getting pretty good at it. And now I look at this, I'm like, wow. I'm awful. <laughs> <laughs> doing a lot better now, no, that's for no sure. One, that. no <laughs> oh, that's, do that one. That's who's uh, talking right now, you guys. That's Emery and that's Elena. <laughs> so let's do this one. A couple of robot girls. Uh, you guys probably like these a lot, huh? I love them. I love them. And, and these like are the just, you know, like I said, sketches. I like the one with this on the right. Oh, that peace sign? The other girl? She's coming in a sec. 
So I added some fun little stuff. This is a character, this right here, now that I've really rendered, started rendering stuff and making it look really finished, this is one I really wanna come back to, and, and this one as well. I really like these robot girls, they're kinda cool. I like her the most, Emery likes her. You like her peace sign? Yeah. I, want, I, I like, like how she, cool she is. I like her is. light, her leggings with the light things on them and stuff. I love the blue one. <laughs> you do? The blue and pink. Um, Let's do the fairy. So I would show you guys these ones, but the girls are with me, and YouTube will demonetize my video if I show you those. Well, and they're, they're just figure drawing, but every video I've done that I've done figure drawing in is now demonetized by YouTube. So let's do this one. I actually did a final version of this one. I like that one too. I really like this one too. This is. I love I, it. I, I love how she has all those arms, like another person, like three other people are behind yeah, her. Yeah, I, I liked her face a lot. I thought her face, I thought I did a good job making her look very pretty. Um, but still kind of, I don't know, she's got some attitude, right? If you made her hair go down, it would be like Ariel sitting there with her legs. It'd be like, but the costume's like, uh, yeah. she's like a queen something. A queen, queen of something. This was just an original character. A lot of the stuff I'm doing now is fan art, but uh, <laughs> when you first saw the outfit kind of start, like right here, I was thinking like Electra, and then I'm like, Nah, I gave her all those arms and make her like a queen or something. And on this one is one I really worked on the skin a ton on. Really to try and get that to where there's a texture in it. Um, versus so it's not too smooth. So if you look at the edges, they're still pretty rough. Because um, I really wanted to be careful not to get rid of that, that uh, kind of natural look to it. So it wasn't so airbrushy. Her um, shoes look like ballet shoes. They do, huh? <laughs> do you like the They're rings? They're all ballet shoes. Oh yeah, the rings. I like the other one where she's like, mm -hmm. like she went like that. Uh, uh, there's, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's show them the final version of this one. Let's end with the final version of that one and Wolverine. Okay, so this is that Wolverine one you guys saw from earlier. Uh, this is the final version of it. Uh, I added like a sentinel's head down here, big old burning city in the background. Um, some pieces of like sentinel's arms and stuff and some cool stuff to him you can kind of see his rib cage he's got like bullet holes they're all red because the heat from the bullet passing through his skin is like kind of heated up his skin and stuff but I really like this is one where I really took it uh, to another level um, you can see just the detail in where I add lighting very subtly what do you guys think? Good. What do you guys think? Good. Amazing, amazing, maybe, maybe, maybe amazing. Because he just totally beat that robot, huh? Yeah. His head popped off, his arm popped off, everything popped off. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> so here's the final version of the queen. So this is kind of where I got it to before. And then you can really see the crown. And I start adding a lot more detail um, and just making the lighting a lot more believable. Okay, well, that's the video, guys. Uh, I'm gonna end with this Wonder Woman drawing by Elena. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she, you know, like myself, she's really learning a lot when it comes to digital art and learning how to use the different brushes. Um, and this, she's gotten a lot better at digital art, don't you think, drawn on the iPad? Yeah. Yeah, this I one's... Better on draw so cute. Yeah, yeah. Elena watches a lot of YouTube videos, learn learning how to draw and stuff like that, and so she uses that kind of stuff. But then she also sees me drawing and like Wonder Woman. You drew Wonder Woman, right? Mm -hmm. So she picks up a lot of stuff. She's very observant. But this is a she's getting a lot better. So I can't wait to see new stuff from you. Who are you gonna draw next? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. Anyway, you'll have to surprise us. So, um, but that's it for the video, guys. Uh, like I said, I feel like this is kind of a cool, interesting journey. Um, the artwork I just showed you to this finished work, and I'll go over this drawing uh, real soon. I feel like it's important to show you some of that older stuff so you can kind of see it's I'm really gaining a lot of ground with digital art. And I'm learning, I feel like I'm, 
going pretty quickly. My first stuff was very fast and, and I didn't spend a lot of time doing it. Like they were digital sketches. But I have a whole video planned for how much time you should spend on a drawing as I feel like it's a very interesting subject matter. Um, because I do feel like those one hour, half hour sketches are super important for learning how to draw. Um, as where these finished uh, final version type illustrations. Um, so that's the video guys. Um, thanks for watching and I will catch you later. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks okay. for watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, check out my website, sketchytrav.com. I have prints, all these prints are for sale. So if you're looking for some cool art prints, uh, check those out. And uh, like I said, I'll catch you later. Bye.